Boo, I calculate you, now it's calculated I can even predict your angle Fabricating stories on the family front Cause you heard Mr. Morale A pathetic master manipulator I can smell the tales on you now You're not a rap artist, you a scam artist With the hopes of being accepted Tommy Hilfiger stood out But FUBU never had been your collection I make music that he let your what that mean? Mm. There were rumors about about in the 2000s, Tommy Hill. You know, let's listen to the song and then we'll break it down. Fine, you make music that pacify him. I can double down on that line, but spare you this time. That's random acts of kindness. Know you're a master manipulator and a bitch you a liar too. But don't tell no lie about me, and I won't tell truths about you. Okay. Shoo. Sure. All right, sure. little intro. Shoo. Sure. Shoo. Yeah, I'm out the way, yeah, I'm low, okay, yeah, the island right here is remote, okay, I ain't thinking about no reaper, nigga, I'm reaping what I sow, okay, got a Benjamin and a Jackson all in my house, like I'm Joe, okay, hell cat, made his own boys and them types of LA solo, okay, everybody wanna be demon, till they get chipped by your throwaway, and I might do a show a day, what's a lame, always a lame, oh, you thought the money, the power of fame will make you go away, have you ever played, have you ever, okay, nigga, let's play, have you ever, watch your enemy down, like with a poker face have you what the fuck does that mean <clears throat> this is a reference to a previous line utilized by kendrick during his featured verse on um, like that dot the money power respect the last one is better here kendrick tempts drake with a metaphorical game of have you ever sometimes called never have i ever in which contestants compare various acts i know what the fucking game is this is likely a taunt regarding previous allegations of Well, paid 500 thou, like to an open case Well, I have, and I failed at both But I came out straight I hate when I rap or talk about guns Then somebody die, they turn into nuns Then I hop online, like pray for my city He faking for likes and digital hugs His daddy a killer, he wanna be junior They must have forgot the shit that they done Dementia must run in his family, but let it get shaky I park your son The very first time I shot me a Drake The homie had told me to aim it this way I didn't point down enough Today I show you I learned from those mistakes Somebody had told me that you got a ring Oh God, I'm ready to double the wage I'd rather do that than let a Canadian nigga make Pac turn in his grave Cut the finish, you got shit twisted What is it, the brakes? I hurt your feelings, you don't work with me no more Okay Okay The street goes left and I see two of them kissing and hugging on stage I love them to death And then eight bars, I'll explain their phrase <laughs> It's not nobody can tell me I don't want to talk on no celly. You know I got language barriers. It's no accent you can sell me. Your cold and Ivory know I'm a selfish nigga. The crown is heavy. I pray they my real friends. If not, I'm YNW Melly. I don't like you popping shit at Pharrell for him. I inherit the beef. Yeah, fuck all that pushing P. Let me see you push a T. You better all spin the pin on him. You think about pushing me. He's Terrence Thorne. I'm Terrence Crawford. Yeah, I'm whooping feet. Yeah. We ain't gotta get personal. This a friendly fair. You should keep it that way. I know some no! shit about niggas. Oh! This is not friendly, nigga. This is not friendly. This is not friendly, bro. That make gonna wanna look like a saint. This ain't been about critics, not about gimmicks, not about who the greatest is. Always been about love and hate. Now let me say I'm the biggest hater. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way that you dress. I hate the way that you sneak this. If I catch flight, it's gonna be direct. We hate the bitches you fuck, cause they confuse themselves with real women. Then notice I said we, it's not just me. I'm what the culture feeling. How many more fairy tale stories about your life till we had enough? How many more black features till you finally feel that you're black enough? I like Drake with the melodies. I don't like Drake when he act tough. You gon' make a nigga bring back Puff. Let me see if Chubbs really crash something. Yeah, my first one, like my last one. It's a classic. You gon' make a nigga bring back Puff. Let me see if Chubbs really crash something. Chubbs is longtime personal bodyguard of Drake, who's rapped about many songs throughout the years. Okay. Puff equals Sean Diddy Combs is rumored to have punched Drake in the face? At DJ Khaled's birthday bash at Live Miami in 2014, in which Drake did not retaliate. <clears throat> okay. Moo chat. Why is chat like that? Bro, what the fuck is what when did that happen? No, seriously. I literally put y'all niggas over here. When did that happen? What the fuck? 
at the beginning, no nigga. I just moved y'all there midway. All right, bro. It's fixed, bro. You don't have one. Let your core audience stomach that. Didn't tell them where you get your abs from. V12 is a fast one. Bro, bro, bro. Last one. Headshot for the year. You better walk around like Daft Punk. Remember? A hey, top dog. Who the fuck they think they playing with? Extortion my middle name as soon as you jump off of that plane, bitch. I'm allergic to the lame shit. Only you like being famous. Y'all hey. can't give you no swag neither. I don't give a fuck about who you hanging with. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way that you dress. Surprise, you wanted that feature request. You know that we got some shit to address I even hate when you say the word nigga But that's just me, I guess Some shit just cringeworthy you Ain't even gotta be deep, I guess Still love when you see success Everything with me is blessed Keep making me dance Wave my hand And there won't be no threat I'm knowing they call you the boy But where's the man? Cause I ain't seen him yet Matter of fact, I ain't even bleed him yet Can I bleed him? Bet. When I see you stand by sexy red I believe you see two bad bitches I believe you don't like women It's real competition You might pop ass with them Let's speak on percentage Show me your Splits, I'll make sure I double back with you. You assigned to a nigga that signed to a nigga that said he was signed to that nigga. Try ceasing the Hey, that's the best part of the song so far, nigga. Sis, I like that record. Oh, what? You ain't like that record? Back to back. I like that record. I'm gonna get back to that for the record. Why would I call around trying to get turtle, on, niggas? Y'all thinking my life is rap? That's whole shit. I got a son to raise. But I can see you don't know nothing about that. Waking them up. Know nothing about that. Then tell them to pray. Know nothing about that. Then giving them tools to walk through life like day by day. Know nothing about that. Teaching them morals, integrity, discipline. Listen, man. You don't know nothing about that. Speaking the truth and consider what God's considering. You don't know nothing about that. Ain't 20 V1. It's 1v20 if I gotta smack niggas that right with you Yeah, bring them out too, I clean them out too Tell Bean that he better stay right with you Am I battling ghosts or AI? Nigga feeling like Joe Hill Austin Funny he was in a film called AI And my sixth sense telling me to off him I'm a brick niggas all in the coffin Yeah, OB ho niggas is dick riders Tell them run to America to imitate heritage They can't imitate this violence What I learned is niggas don't like the West Coast And I'm fine with it, I'll push the line with it Pick a nigga off one at a time with it We can be on a three hour time difference Don't speak on the family, Crody It can get deep in the family, Crody Talk about me and my family, Crody. Someone go bleed in your family, Crody. I'll be at New Hall King eating fried rice with a dip sauce and a blammy, Crody. Tell me your cheese and farm. We can do this right now on the camera, Crody. Hey, fuck y'all niggas, I don't trust y'all niggas I weigh one finger and thump y'all niggas like Mmm, feel go punk y'all niggas, they punk y'all niggas Nobody never took my food Whoever that's fucking with them, fuck you niggas And fuck the industry too If you take it there, I'm taking it further Psst, that's something you don't wanna do Whoa. You don't wanna do something We don't wanna hear you say nigga no more Stop Okay, now break it down. Now break it down, nigga. Damn, that was a fat song. I'm not gonna lie, this shit started slow, chat. This shit started slow, my nigga. But it definitely picked up as soon as the beat switched, bro. It definitely Ooh, picked up as soon as the beat switched, bro. Euphoria. It's not ass, bro. I think some niggas just don't like Kendrick's style, bro. But it's not ass. So I say this, my first impressions, chat. <clears throat> Boom, 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 boom. <coughs> um, this felt like a warning shot, my nigga. Felt like some shit J. Cole did, my nigga. And the only way not say that is because he said it's friendly. This shit not friendly, bro. He made it personal, my nigga. So now it's personal. So who's the best? And you we watched that video uh a couple weeks ago about how Kendrick was taking shots at Drake for a decade. And Drake was just dodging it, my nigga. To the point where niggas thought Kendrick had some fuel on Drake, but now it's woe reversal because it feel like this nigga didn't go all the way in. Chat, y just yes or no, do you feel like this nigga could have went harder, bro? I don't mean in terms of lyricism or anything like that. I mean in terms of like violence. Do you think he could have went harder? Yes, everyone's saying yes. Me too, bro. We've seen this nigga at his best, okay? <clears throat> That's the only... I feel like this... Like, Drake was on some fuck it, let's go all out energy. And everyone else, aside from fucking Rick Rock, no, why the fuck all the side characters in his beef on some timing? Nigga, Rick Ross, Metro, Future, all them niggas was on timing, bro. All them niggas was on timing, but the one beef we actually gave a fuck about between Cole, Kendrick, and Drake, you know what I'm saying? Cole apologized, and this nigga basically said a warning shot. <clears throat> nigga said it's friendly. Shit is not friendly, my nigga. Well, I don't want it to be. 
Like, who's the best? That's what I want to know. Who's the best? But let's break it down, my nigga. You predict your angle. Fabricate stories on the family front, cause you heard me. Okay, why calculate you? Not as calculated. I could even predict your angles. On a deeper level, this bar talks about Drake's chest moving the beef. Kendrick says his opponent is predictable. That's not even a breakdown, my nigga. Mr. Morale, a pathetic master manipulator. I can smell the tales on you now. You're not a rap artist, you're a scam artist with the hopes of being accepted. Tommy Hilfiger stood out, but Fubu never had been your collection. I make music that electrifies. You make music. Kendrick alleges that Fubu never had been your collection, meaning Drake has never been a part of the U.S. In other words, Drake is an imposter looking for acceptance from the black and or hip hop community. Okay. That pacify him. I can double down on that line, but spare you this time. That's random acts of kindness. Know you're a master manipulator and a habitual liar too. But don't tell no lie about me, and I won't tell truths about you. <laughs> That's you? Bro, I, I hate what well, yo, some American niggas, bro, y'all, bro, like, Y'all niggas have zero appreciation for the input the world be having in culture. Y'all niggas think your culture the only one that exists. It's weird, bro. It's so weird. Bro, if you think about the music industry, bro, some of the biggest artists from Justin Bieber, The Weeknd, Drake, they're all Canadian, my nigga. And then fuck that. Some of the biggest artists in the world are, are in Africa or in Korea. Bro, there's all different styles of music and culture and so many different ways to appreciate and varieties. There's no one original idea. Every idea builds from another. It's just about showing, it's not, it's like, that's what creativity looks like. So when niggas claim shit like that, it just makes no sense to me. But I think in terms of like, if we're treating this like a chess piece, I know why he's doing that. He's basically trying to make this nigga feel like an outsider in this song. And he did it at the end too, where he said, you can't say nigga, bro. Because you're half black. He's basically trying to say, you you are an outsider, bro. That's basically the premise of this song. <clears throat> Don't tell a lie about me. I won't tell two truths about you. Many believe that these lines were originally aimed at Drake or Big Sean. This can be seen as a confirmation. Kendrick appears to be responding to various bars aimed at him throughout Drake's April 2024 diss track push-ups in TaylorMade Freestyle. <clears throat> How? That's a, such a shit fucking example. Like, all right, bro. <clears throat> genius is not geniusing right now. Shoes. Shoes. <clears throat> like it's saying obvious things. Shoes. 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 Be, 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 be. Yeah, I'm out the way. Yeah, I'm low. Okay, yeah, the island right here is remote. Okay, I ain't thinking about no reaper. Nigga, I'm reaping what I sow. Okay, got a Benjamin and a Jackson all in my house. Like I'm Joe. Okay, hell okay. Made his own boys in them types LA solo. Okay. Let me break that down. <clears throat> Kendrick with the double entendre between the Dodge Hellcat car and people selling their soul to a spiritual devil in hell or darker powers on earth. There's a common reoccurrence. When young people join the military, they'll purchase a Camaro, a Ford Mustang, or a Challenger. Cheap speed and power. Often, people join the military just for money as they were selling their soul. Do y'all think that's what the fuck he really meant, though, my nigga? Bro, what? <laughs> Could also be a reference to the theme of rappers, athletes, internet personalities initially buying Hellcats with their new money but eventually giving it to their boys when they move up to Lamborghinis, McLarens, or exotic cars. Okay. What's wrong with a Hellcat? <laughs> Something wrong with a Hellcat? <laughs> it's a thug car. Okay, I think I think I think the reason y'all missing the point, the reason why Hellcats is popular is because they're affordable. For the power you get, they're a great price. Okay. Bar for bar, American cars are just more affordable than foreign cars because they don't have to deal with as many tariffs and shit like that. <clears throat> That's why them Corvettes are so cheap, my nigga. Dead ass, bro. Seriously, bro. Them German cars is expensive, man. <clears throat> The Italian cars are mega expensive. The Ferraris and Lamborghinis and Maseratis. 
<clears throat> you know what's wrong with a Hellcat. <laughs> Unless he's just saying it's a THUD CAR. <laughs> All right? Hey, everybody wanna be demon till they get chipped by your throwaway. And I might do a show a day. What's a lame? Always a lame. Oh, you thought the money, the power of fame will make you go away. Have you ever played? Have you ever? Okay, nigga, let's play. Have you ever watch your enemy down like with a poker face? Have you ever? Ah! In a since deleted diss song, Taylor Man Freestyle, Drake takes shots at Kendrick Street credibility. Drake mocks Kendrick by suggesting that he never been to jail. And that he has never shot or stabbed anyone. Kendrick responds to these claims by asking Drake if he has walked his enemy down. Referring to a shootout between two people where the aggressor progresses on the other shooter. Without fear of being gunned down. Kendrick brings up his past seemingly suggested to have walked down on someone in his past. And he concludes by claiming that he walked away straight, which means he was good or unscathed. Okay. Pay five hundred thou, like to an open case. Well, I have, and I failed at both, but I came out straight. I hate when I rap or talk about guns. Then somebody die, they turn into nuns. Then I hop online, like pray for my city. He faking for likes and digital hugs. His daddy a killer, he wanna be junior. They must have forgot the shit that they done. Dementia must run in his family, but let it get shaky. I park your son. The very first time I shot me a Drake, the homie had told me to aim it this way. I didn't point down enough. Today I show you I learned from those mistakes. Somebody had told me that you got a ring. Oh God, I'm ready to double the wage. I'd rather do that than let a Canadian nigga make Pac turn in his grave. Cut the <laughs> bitch, you got shit twisted. What is it, the brakes? I hurt your feelings, you don't work with me no more. Okay, there's three ghosts left, and I see two of them kissing and hugging on stage. I break that down. Hold on, break that down. This is a shot at J. Cole and Drake. Cole has frequently spoken about the big three, which is who he thinks the top three rappers. Okay. Kendrick mocks his take. He say, motherfuck the big three, nigga. It's just big meat. Kendrick continues this sentiment by talking about the other two big three, Drake and J. Cole, hugging on stage. Nigga, they was on tour together, bro. Okay. Did they kiss? They was on tour. They just supposed to not hug? 500K line. What? Rick Ross responds. I right, keep that. Keep that. Keep that. I love her to death, and then eight bars I'll explain ah! it. Something you want to say? Thanks, appreciate it. Blessings, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> That phrase, it's not nobody can tell me. I don't want to talk on no celly. You know I got language barriers. It's no accent you can sell me. Your cold and I be no, I'm a selfish nigga. The crown is heavy. Yeah. I pray they my real friends. If not, I'm YNW Melly. I don't like you popping shit at Pharrell. For him, I inherit the beef. Yeah, fuck all that pushing <laughs> pee. Let me see you push a T. You better have spinning again on him. You think about pushing me. He's Terrence Thorne. I'm Terrence Crawford. Yeah, I'm whooping feet. We ain't got to get personal. This a friend fade. You should keep it that way. I know some shit about niggas that make gonna wanna look like a saint. This ain't... Wait. Why gonna call it straight, my nigga? Break that down. Gunna Wanna is one of Gunna's many nicknames, okay? Gunna's reputation as a snitch. Oh, my God. Gunna responded to this bar shortly after this disc dropped on X. Damn, this today! <laughs> Come on, bro. A lot of nigga caught a stray, bro. He basically saying he got a lot of shit on niggas, but he don't want to snitch. Okay. Okay, see, I would like to hear that shit. I would like to hear that shit. Drake right at 15 some years ago, downtown, some niggas break. Yeah, I heard about that, but um, I heard that shit wasn't true, though. I heard that shit wasn't true, though. <clears throat> Kendrick is advising Drake to keep things cordial in the spirit of friendly competition. This could be a response to Drake bringing up Kendrick's wife. Drake suggests that Kendrick's wife is cheating on him with his bodyguard. Kendrick, however, does not seem to shy away from the more personal aspect of dissing. Because later he says, that's whole shit. I got a son to raise. 
But I can see you don't know nothing about that. Stop holding your punches, Kendrick. <sighs> I feel like the nigga holding his punches, bruh. Been about critics, not about gimmicks, not about who the greatest is. Always been about love and hate. Now let me say I'm the biggest hater. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way that you dress. I hate the way that you sneak this. If I catch flight, it's gonna be direct. We hate the bitches you fuck, cause they confuse themselves with real women. Then notice I said we, it's not just me, I'm what the culture feeling. Hold on, break that down! We hate the bitches you fuck, cause they confuse themselves with real women. Niggas say interpretation one, interpretation two. All right, what's interpretation one? With this line, Kendrick alludes to the culture's long-lasting whispers about Drake's questionable relations with underage girls, such as Millie Bobby Brown. Multiple allegations have floated around since 2010, albeit with no real solid proof, but with plenty of strange behavior. <clears throat> interpretation two, <clears throat> even, with, even when disregarding the hints of inappropriate behavior, it's unanimous that Drake's stories objectively express a pattern of being romantically involved with girls who are nowhere near as powerful as him. Bro, I hate this frame of thinking, bro. Who the fuck, realistically, who can Drake fuck that's as powerful as him? That's gonna sound like dick suck, but really just, it's a thought exercise, right? It used to be Rihanna. He tried doing that, remember? Can't do that no more. You know, Beyonce, she got, you know, who the fuck can this nigga fuck that's as powerful as him? Nigga, the list is like smaller than who? Taylor, but then wouldn't the opposite be true? Because Taylor got more motion, right? Taylor probably got the most motion on the planet. Wouldn't the opposite be true? Wouldn't Taylor be fucking someone that she got more power than? You got to find someone on your power level. <laughs> Using this logic, it don't make no sense, bro. Anyway, uh, I think the first interpretation is probably more true. I notice I say we is not just oh let me play. How many more fairy tale stories about your life till we had enough? How many more black features till you finally feel that you're black enough? I like Drake with the melodies. I don't like Drake when he act tough. You gon' make a nigga bring back puff. Let me see if Chubbs really crash something. Yeah, my first one, like my last one. It's a classic, you don't have one. Let your core audience stomach that. Didn't tell them where you get your abs from. V12, it's a fast one. Bow, bow, bow. Last one. Headshot for the year. You better walk around like Daft. Punk. Remember, <laughs> hey top dog, who the fuck they think they playing with? Extortion my middle name as soon as you jump off of that plane, bitch. I'm allergic to the lame shit. Only you like being famous. Yaddy can't give you no sweat. <sighs> Doctor Miami, yeah, I heard about that. I heard about that. That's why I didn't click on it. I already know. Niggas accused him of uh, installing a six pack uh, surgically. Alright. Wag neither. I don't give a fuck about who you're hanging with. I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk. I hate the way that you dress. Surprise, you wanted that feature request. You know that we got some shit to address. I even hate when you say the word nigga. But that's just me, I guess. Some shit just cringe worthy. Ain't even gotta be deep, I guess. Still no Hold on, break it down, nigga. Drake's biracial identity has been a point of contention throughout his career. While Drake considers himself black and immerses himself in black culture, many African Americans refuse to accept him as part of the black community due to his mother being a white Jewish woman. Drake rapped about this on Wick Man from his 2023 project. I love that song. <clears throat> it's commonly agreed upon that non-black people shouldn't say nigga because of its con controversial historical connotations. In saying that Drake shouldn't say nigga, why a nigga say pop it out? I'm... What the fuck did I do? What did I, I'm reading it, dickhead? Yo, y'all niggas is out. Can I even say shit or nah? What, I'm literally reading what this nigga said. I haven't even gave my opinion on the line yet, dickhead. What the fuck is that? Need? Yo, hey, two hands. You got two hands on it, and it's still smacking the back of your throat, nigga. 12 inches, big dick, nigga. Smack, hey, my nigga, to the point you got, you got a sore throat the next day, my nigga. That's how much dick you're sucking. What the fuck is up with this nigga? I'm literally, I look in the chat, first thing I see is, yo, I don't, like, I genuinely don't know, bro. Like, I genuinely don't know. Y'all niggas want me to be biased so bad. Y'all don't understand. I love, Kendrick has one of my favorite albums of all time, bro. I fucking love Kendrick. I want, bro, I want to see who's the best. I want to see who's the best, bro. That's it, my nigga. Simple. 
So stop playing with me, bro. Like, I'm trying to be on some bias shit, nigga. They don't know me. Neither of them know me. I don't know nobody in music. Thank God. I don't have no friends. I got like a few rapper friends, nigga. That's it. And none of them are the ones we're talking about on stream, bro. So shut the fuck up, nigga. All right. Uh, more recently, Rick Ross, Drake, my, uh, he might. Yo, okay. Yo, okay. I feel bad for mixed niggas, bro. I'm going to say it, bro. Okay. Because if you're mixed, okay, but you look more white than black, you could still be half black, but you can't say nigga. But you also can't even do a lot of black things, really, without niggas being on your ass about it and you not having to justify how black you are to everybody. I bet that shit's annoying, bro. I think, um, I think that niggas that aren't, I think some niggas don't truly like empathize, you feel me? And the reason why I understand a little bit is because I low-key feel the same way because it's really just about being a minority because not in terms of race, but in terms of just like in Canada, I'm the minority. You know, if I go to Ethiopia, I wasn't born there. I don't even know the main language there. I know one of the languages, but I'm the minority there. In America, I'm Canadian, Ethiopian. I'm the minority. So, like, to some people, you just never fit in. But it's like, yo, fuck all these niggas, bro. I don't give a fuck about fitting in at a certain point. But it's like, it's nice when you have a community, bro. 